Today, we're going to talk about what projects you should make for your portfolio site. Ronit asks, what all web technology should I be acquainted with to make a good, interesting portfolio site? That's an interesting question and one that you'll see all over the internet and people always wondering what can I do to make that killer portfolio. Let's talk about that portfolio projects and the site project you should build. Number one, it should be in the stack that you want to get a job with. So if you're looking at full stack web dev, ASP.NET C Sharp, you should build your portfolio projects in that stack. That way the employer, when they looks at it, he says the skills I'm hiring for line up with the skills that are demonstrated in the portfolio. So you definitely don't want to build it on some unknown piece of technology that no one's hiring for. So think about that. Align your portfolio with the stacks that are in demand. The second thing that you need to do is build a portfolio that the project should be consistent of three things. Number one, a view, which is some kind of like really attractive front end. So you can use Bootstrap for this or some kind of front end technology to make it attractive. Second, it needs to solve a business problem. At Coder Foundry, we teach people how to build an issue tracker, which we track software defects. Um, that issue tracker has some really cool features in it. Number one, it has authorization, authentication, but the main thing is it has a database. Your professional project should have some sort of database, so you can demonstrate that I can read and write data to a database, I can pull data out, I can show views based on that data. So it needs to have an attractive front end, it needs to solve a business problem, and it needs to be con connected to some kind of database. If you do those three things, those are projects that you can show to a prospective employer that will get you hired. Thanks a lot, and keep coding. <music>